Hello you beautiful people, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad and in this video we're going to check into the 22nd of June, uh, 2022nd and see what uh, the day has in store for us through the eyes of Tsaro and uh, should you be interested in a personal reading with me or uh, if you do have an interest into taking my tarot classes the description down below is going to provide you with the link to my website where you can view and purchase whichever service suits you best so with that said let's check on the day uh the first card for the day that is going to be the eight of uh, cups the second card of the day uh that will be uh, the moon card and the final card that we have stands as the page of cups so this is how the elemental dignity of the day is uh, presented those are the three cards man that's gonna be such an emotional day and uh, bear with me here guys the day revolves around a person that is going to help us overcome an emotional uh, it's not a pain all right it's not a pain it's an emotional displacement or a displeasure so what happens it is that we're going to be for the lack of a better word i'm going to say disappointed about some kind of a course of events this isn't about uh, a thing that we are not gonna have what we want okay uh it, it's gonna be more relating to a milestone or it's that we don't have it the way we want right or the the the, the, the circumstances are not developing the way we want them to develop but it's already sealed deal, right? Nothing can be done about that at this point. And it could be something big, it could be something small. Uh, we may find ourselves being told something we don't like and we are baffled how that person can say that to us. You know, these are circumstances we don't want, but it is already said, right? Nothing you can do about it. Uh, it could relate to our career as well, where things are going down south with the project of ours or with a, with a with a co-worker of ours uh, that we do not like but it is manageable at that point and so this could bring us down in term of uh, in term of emotional heights to a certain extent it's not going to be something big but then this person shows up all right they they just kind of like appear and by the way that is someone that we already know we do have a, a very good relationship with and i can say here by the look of uh, by the look of these cards and uh, they are con they are to convince us that everything is a part of the pattern this 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 is happening for a reason and they are also going to display us the reason and we are going to see that the future holds a much better prospects than what we are experiencing right now and the future is not going to hold those prospects if we are not experiencing what we are experiencing right now so so this emotional displeasure was a it was and it is necessary for us to make a progress in the future or to find ourselves where we are supposed to be because that is exactly what we have all right that is exactly what we have we do have these two cards and literally their message is while the current situation is not ideal all right it is not as satisfiable as he as we wanted it to be not as it should but as it wanted it to be it's necessary for the future holds a much better perspectives all right and we are meant to experience those perspectives now that i think of because there is a, a huge romantic incentive here as well which i'm gonna go to in a minute but that is no different than we are being for example denied by someone and that pushes us in uh, in the lap of someone else, which is much more capable to make us happy, to give us love, and so on and so forth. And now that I'm saying a romantic incentive here, it's it's really really huge one, and it comes from these two cards. In fact, I 
I don't want to say I don't like that kind of people, but I think it's a bit unnecessary because my personal opinion is that if someone likes you, they're going to like you for who you are and you got to like them for who they are as well. But according to these cards, that is a, an individual who really have an, an emotional attachment to you, which I believe has its romantic incentive in it. And they will try to align, all right? They will try to adapt to you. They are very prone to make a crucial assessment, self-assessment and change positions, change behavior so they can be more acceptable, they can be more compatible, so to speak. And one big plus, one big trait of this individual, it is that they, do, they, they are not stuck into the details or the irritating details, but they are more oriented towards the overview. What I mean here is that if you have a habit that they don't like, they wouldn't care that much if they see that the potential in between you two is loving and, and stable and you can, for example, make family and so on and so forth. They wouldn't care that you are, for example, a smoker or that you do like partying, etc, etc. And uh, one last thing before I brought this one around here is that you need to know that just because things are not going to develop exactly and that, that is exactly the way we want, they are going to develop the way we want to a certain extent but not exactly which is going to make us a emotional displeased that emotional displeasure also is going to make us doubt ourselves and that is a grave mistake here literally this is the the, the sound the loud message the ululation of these cards it is please do not deviate from the path you have chosen and so with that said, guys, this is the daily tarot reading for the 22nd of June, 2022nd. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.